Hey, what's good, guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time, in my opinion, is a pretty ridiculous one, pretty crazy one. I kind of say that every video, but this one is definitely one of the crazier ones for real. Hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, today's story time topic is about an ex-girlfriend of mine, like many story times begin. But this isn't like any other ex-girlfriend story where, you know, we just date and then she just kind of like gradually starts getting a little bit more, you know, crazy. This is more like we were just hanging out one day, having a nice, normal date. And then just a switch flipped, and she became an entirely different person. And it ended with, uh, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but you could probably guess based on the title of the video. Let's just jump into this. So this story time takes place in 2017. It all starts off to a normal day. I'm sitting in my room. I had been dating this girl for about a month at this point, and she hit me up while I was sitting in my room. And was like, hey, do you want to hang out today? There's like a festival going on downtown. We can go hang out there for a little bit. And I was like, yeah, for sure. Let's do it. So she came and picked me up, me and her went and got food, got this really nice lunch, went to this festival, and for the most part, the day was completely normal, right? I was like, wow, this is a really great date, nothing could go wrong, right? And uh, something went wrong. Something went very, very, very wrong. So we're at the festival, right? And we were there for about three hours, and towards the end of the festival, we were leaving, just, you know, walking out, and to get to the parking lot where her car was, we had to walk across a crosswalk, and there was a crossing guard there. And this dude, he was wearing a nice yellow vest. He's standing there waiting to guide us across the street. And she just starts jaywalking. She just walks right by him, ignores his directions, and starts walking pretty much in the middle of traffic. And we both kind of look at her like, what are you doing? And the crossing guard looks at her and goes, hey, like, get back there. Like, there's cars. So she walks back over to me. And I asked her, I'm like, why would you do that? Like, that was mad dangerous. Like, just wait a second. And she goes, I just want to sit down. Like, I'm sick of walking. We've been walking all day. I'm exhausted. Now, look, I totally understood her pain, okay? We had been walking around this big festival all day for hours on end. I was super tired as well. I was ready to sit down and just relax for the rest of the night. But at the same time, it's a fucking crosswalk. Just wait 10 seconds and you'll get the okay to go. Like, she literally walked out into oncoming traffic and basically risked getting hit by a car over like a 15 second difference of time. So I tell her, I'm like, look, I totally understand like what you're going through, I'm really tired too. Just give it a second, we'll be over there in a minute. And about 10 more seconds go by and traffic's about to stop and the crossing guard's about to give us the okay. And my girlfriend speaks up and goes, what is taking so long? Like seriously, just let us go. And I'm like so embarrassed at this point because this poor crossing guard is just trying to do his job. And my girlfriend was like being super not nice. And the guard goes, listen, you just need to calm down for a second. I'm about to let you guys go in like five seconds. Just relax. And finally, the traffic stops. He puts up the sign. We start crossing. And as we're crossing, my girlfriend turns around and for some reason turns around and throws the crossing guard the middle finger. Just flips him off and says, fuck you. And the crossing guard just goes, okay, fuck you too. And we walk across the street and my girlfriend was like laughing about it. And I was like, yo, why would you do that? Like that guy was just doing his job. Like, why would you say that to him for no reason? And she goes, Austin, he purposely held us up and made it take as long as possible just because he didn't like me. Now listen, it was like I said, 15, maybe 20 seconds of waiting. I know for a fact this guy did not do that on purpose. So I laugh and I'm like, do you really think that? And she goes, do you really not think that? And I was like, why would he like do that? What would he gain? He's just trying to do his job. Like other people were crossing too. And she goes, I'm just saying, I know it when I see it. He was being a dick. Now, the truth was, she was being a dick, but I just ignored it, and I kind of moved on. I didn't say anything after that. And right when we get to the parking lot, and right when we're about to get in her car, I hear someone yell, hey, stop. And I turn around, and it's a police officer, and he's pointing at my girlfriend, and he goes, did you just flip off that officer over there? And my girlfriend goes, what, the crossing guard? And he goes, yeah. And she goes, yeah, he was being a dick. And the police officer's like, listen, he's just trying to do his job. Like, you can't get mad because you're impatient. Be nice to these people. Like, they're just doing the right thing. And my girlfriend's like, look, he made me wait on purpose. I know that for a fact. I'm tired. I'm in a bad mood. Sorry I flipped him off, but not sorry. And she opens up her car door and starts getting in the car. And I'm just in shock. I have never seen her act like this a day in my life. I'm, like, completely just out of words, right? And the officer walks up to the driver's seat window and she's rolling down the window to like let some air in because it's hot in the car. And he goes, I'm not done talking to you. And she goes, yeah, well, I'm done talking to you. And she starts rolling the window back up. And the officer lets her roll the window up and just kind of awkwardly stands there staring at us with disappointment. And I get in the car with her and I'm freaking out on the inside, right? Because she's just in an awful mood, a mood I've never seen her in before. She's like being mad disrespectful to everybody. And I'm worried that this guy is about to pull us out of the car and arrest us. So after I get in the car and I shut my door, the officer knocks on her window and asks her to roll the window down again. So she does, 
And she goes, what do you want? And he goes, ma'am, did you have anything to drink tonight? Because you're coming from a festival and you're acting very just immature, if I do say so myself. And my girlfriend looks back at me, looks back at the officer and goes, what I did to that crossing guard wasn't immature. This is immature. And she spits her gum out on his shoes, just spits out the window and her gum lands right on his shoes. And he freaks out, pulls the car door open and tells her to get out. And she gets out of the car, he puts her in handcuffs, and puts her in the back of his cop car. And I'm like, sir, are you arresting her? And he goes, yeah, I am. And at this point, I don't even know what to do. I don't know if I should, like, call her parents because her parents are going to be pissed. I don't know if I should, like, follow them to the station or something and, like, see what's going to happen. So I call up one of my friends who lives right down the street, and he pulls up a few minutes later because I was going to need to ride home regardless. And we're just standing there in the parking lot waiting to see this cop car leave with my girlfriend in the back of it. And uh, yeah, five minutes later, cop car pulls away. My girlfriend was officially arrested and I was just completely lost for words. I'm like, yo, I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. So fast forward a few hours later, I'm at her parents' house telling them about everything that happened and they didn't believe me. They were like, no, our daughter would never act like that. I'm like, nope, I'm telling you the truth. Like your daughter spit gum on a police officer's shoes and he was pissed and he arrested her. And I told them every little detail from the crosswalk thing up until the police thing Because I felt like I had to, because there was no other way to explain how she got arrested. So yeah, like nine hours later, she got bailed out. She ended up not getting a serious charge, which is very lucky. The officer gave her a pretty big break. He didn't want to like give her any serious charges. And yeah, she got bailed out. She did have to pay a fine for what she did, I think a couple of months later. But yeah, right after she got bailed out, she came over to my house and I talked to her about what happened. And get this. She was mad at me because I didn't stand up for her against the cop. So I asked her, I'm like, what are you talking about stand up for you? Like, did you want me to fight the police officer or something when he was arresting you? And she goes, no, but you could have said something. I was like, I literally didn't know what to say. You just got arrested for spitting gum on the officer's shoe. There was literally not one thing I could say in that moment that would stop him from arresting you. Like nothing. And she goes, you don't know that. I'm like, dude, you spit your gum on his shoes. What did you expect to happen? And she's like, I don't know, but you didn't help. I'm like, whatever. And she goes, we're done. I'm like, we're done? Okay, fine. And she grabbed her things and she left my house. And that was the end of me and her. One of the most ridiculous breakups I've ever had in my entire life. And honestly, I was not sad about it whatsoever. I was kind of relieved because that was just a big red flag in itself. But yeah, guys, moral of the story is probably shouldn't act like my ex-girlfriend did. And yeah, that's the story time of how my girlfriend got arrested. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all later. Peace.